Do you ever feel hollow inside? Because these do. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you like course vlogs, if you like club reviews, if you like club comparisons, just like this one between the Ping i500 and the TaylorMade P790iN. If you like completely free golf tips to help you with your game, smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and let me know what you want to see. Comment below, what do you think the differences will be between Ping's latest i500 and the TaylorMade P790? probably one of the best performing irons of 2018 so far. So looking at both these irons, they do look incredibly similar. Just like a player's iron, fairly bladey. However, we look towards the toe of the clubs and you'll see these screws here. These are because the heads are hollow. On the TaylorMade's case, we have the speed foam in there, but the hollow head allows much more forgiveness and greater distance on both off centre hits and centre hits. Both these irons have a forged aspect about them. Now I've reviewed both these clubs. I'm gonna stick the links below, so if you want more info on the technology that goes into these clubs, go check out that video. Today, I'm gonna to compare them on flight scope. We're gonna use Titleist Pro V1 practice balls. I'm gonna hit about half a dozen shots with each, maybe more, maybe less. I'll see how many I feel like I need to hit. And we're gonna see what the differences are between probably two of the best looking clubs that have come out this year. Just a quick side note, the lofts on these clubs are exactly the same. They are very, very strong. I have two 7.9s here, both weighing in at 30.5 degrees of loft. If you have watched my review on the i500, you will know that they offer a tall loft and a retro loft. So this is the standard lofted i500. Okay, so we're gonna start TaylorMade P790, half a dozen shots with each, and we're gonna leave the numbers till the end so we can have a good comparison. I haven't struck those first three fantastic, but the numbers are still up there. Pretty good numbers for a seven iron. Let's carry on. That's the one. Can't hit it any better than that. So that is six shots with the P790 hit, average in total 175. We're going to round that up a tiny bit. Let's see what the i500 offers. I think this could be very similar. Let's do it. Beautiful looking thing, isn't it? I think I know which one wins on the Aesthetics Award for me. Let's talk numbers. Okay, now we're talking numbers. We're gonna start with the i500. So averages with the i500. Carry distance 162.7, we'll call that 163. Total distance 176.4, we'll call that 176. We're gonna round down on that one. 176 total. Average spin rate of 5,000 just over. That is not a lot for a seven iron. What about the P790? P790, average carry distance 162, again we're going to round that down, and total distance 175, so there's a yard in it, one yard in it. Spin rates at 4,800, even lower, obviously these are all varying on my strikes and my swings, I put some good swings on these, I put some bad swings on these, I find that works well for reviews. If ever I stand there and rip every single shot, I don't feel like I'm giving you what you need to know because nobody rips every single shot. As you can see with the i500, I did have one that got out there at 192. That did feel like the best swing of the day, but it just seemed to fly and fly and fly and fly. That would be worrying for me. I know with this type of club, you can get that one that just keeps going and you've just got to hope that that doesn't happen at the wrong time. When I did the review of the P790s and I think it was the i200s, I'll put a link to that below. I had a few shots where I had my yardage, hit it towards the green and it just kept going through the back. I think we even lost one out of bounds. It'd be really interesting to put these against the Titleist TMBs, also a hollow head, really forgiving, strong lofted, long hitting iron, and I found them more consistent than the P790s. If I had to split these clubs up, 
which one would I choose? Which one would go in my bag? It's almost like picking your favourite child. They're both very, very good golf clubs. For me, the Ping i 500 takes it. Purely on the aesthetics, I like the cleaner looks, I think it looks stunning and down at the golf ball it does look that tiny bit sleeker as well. I hope you've enjoyed that comparison between the Ping i500 and the TaylorMade P790. I'm James Robinson, make sure to smash that subscribe button, let's see what we can get to by the end of this week. Put the thumbs up if you've enjoyed that video and comment below, let me know what you think of these irons and what irons you're using in 2018. See you soon.